Okay, so binge watching the last couple of episodes of Doom Patrol. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to Everything Mount DC, and today I'm reviewing these uh, new couple of episodes of Doom Patrol that I haven't watched. So that that would be episode five through seven. So I'm binge watching those and making a video on them after the. Uh, after I've watched the episode, so, but let's not talk much about that. Let's talk about the episode. But first of all, uh, overall, the episode was really good. It was really great. It has lots of fun stuff and lots of serious stuff, which I will get into. So first of all, I I really enjoyed Dorothy and Baby Doll together. They were a really fun duo. I I think so. And you know, it ended up with the Dorothy actually showing Baby Doll some of her friends. So we came many when I watched a a review for this episode to so like digest everything that I've just just watched. I actually I completely forgot that we actually so many in the first episode. Because I know that many people have wondered what are the origin of the of these characters that Dorothy has created. I'm not one of those those people. I'm like I I accepted that she has friends that she can do that. So I don't need an origin an origin story for them, but it's it's cool to have one to know where they're from. And you know, it was a bit tough to see what the baby doll was doing. Like, it looked like that. She was like, fitching, is that is that a word? That she was I don't know fitching or something. Many, but it was kind of difficult to see because Diane Guerrero, I think so, it's pronounced was acting with CG so of course it is was a bit hard and the CG of course it's this universe so it isn't at the it's it's not the best especially in Titans but it looks fine and also we see while Cliff if is uh, looking for that tape where the chief confessed about everything it's gone and while he he was searching for it he found these blueprints of of Niles could upgrade him. Like, and on the surface, Cliff is like a really fun dude. But there is more to that, and that really shows in this scene where he like talks to Rick, Rick about he could, he can remember him like feeling the rain, but he can't remember the feeling of the rain. And then apparently, Cliff might be able to touch in a few decades. But of course, Nile. If Niles isn't dying, it would be fine. But so so, Cliff and Vic they went over to Silas Stone to see if he can like make the same surgery he did as to Cliff as he did uh, as he did to his own son. But I can understand why Silas didn't want to do that because basically what Niles did to Cliff is manslaughter, and he didn't want to be a part of it. So. And then we also got to see like this fun, I kind of hope, a backdoor pilot, you know, the show Steel and Stone. Which I kind of hope they kind of is going to make like a Christmas special or something with that episode. You know, like Sherlock did, Sherlock, they had season three. And then in the middle of season three and season four, they had this episode that was set in the 1800s. But it probably isn't going to be anything. But I still th think that I still think that it was a really fun scene. And also, uh, while Vic was up at Ronnie's house, Ronnie's apartment, and doing the old Devil's Tango, Cliff is trying to fake to fight crime. I mean, there are t these two robbers that are trying to steal a car, and one of them he cuts his finger off, and then he likes got an idea. I I wonder what he would do with it. I mean, obviously he, the thing that he remembered was that Niles wanted to make him feel stuff. So m maybe this is what he he's giving this finger to Niles to like experiment on. And then onto the, I would think that the the m most interesting stuff in the episode is Larry and his family. The best scene in the entire episode is when. Larry talks to his son Paul, and where Paul is trying to kill him, you know we get this whole revelation of what the family actually thinks of him, and he also calls the, 
I don't remember what it's called, but I remember guessing that it was the Borough of Normacy. Is that that's the name right? But Larry uh, releasing negative spirit, the negative spirit, and I think he killed every single one of those agents. And I really like that the, that the Rita saved the kid. And I, I think we can all agree it's nice to see more of Larry and Rita together. And it was nice, also nice seeing Rita actually dodging uh, or reflect the bullets when she was like protecting the kid, I think, Toby. But then that resulted in that uh, the kid's dad, you know, Larry's grandson died. And holy sh that ending, that ending happened. I mean, I, wh while I was watching the ending, I was like, I don't want baby doll to die. But kill her, because Candlemaker ob obviously came into the underground and was going to kill Baby Doll. And as much as I didn't want Baby Doll to die, I wanted Candlemaker to kill her, because that means that Candlemaker is actually this serious business. Anyway, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord server, which will all be down in the description, also to my second channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.